What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of Fantastic Effects Fridays. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get punched in the face without actually getting punched in the face because everyone knows getting punched in the face hurts. So this is actually a super easy effect. So without any further ado, let's jump right in to the video. Alright, so the first thing is you definitely want to get it right in camera. This actually effect mostly consists of getting it right in camera. So if I have Jordan punch me in the face, as you can see, at this angle it looks fine, but if I were to go to the side, you'd definitely see that he would not be connecting. So step one is definitely get your angles right. And you can see if we're shooting from the side here, if he were to hit me in the face right now, you can see that it really doesn't connect at all. So you wanna make sure you're shooting over the shoulder, things like that, to make sure it really looks like it connects. Also, like I said, make sure you're shooting with a longer lens to make more compression. Also, if I had one more person here with me, I would be shooting this handheld. That would just help things come together a little bit better. But that's pretty much the way to get it right in camera. All right, so there's a few tricks you can do in the computer to make this even better. So let's jump right over to the computer. All right, so jumping into Premiere here, I already got my footage set and ready to go. This is actually a super easy effect. So let's take a look at our footage beforehand. As you can see, the swing is slow and my reaction is delayed, but there's things that we can do to fix this. So what I'd first do is I'd find the frame where I really should getting be getting hit or the frame right before. So this frame right here looks pretty good. And we're essentially just gonna cut out this frame. So what this is gonna do, as you can see, this is where my reaction actually happens. So we're gonna cut to this frame right here. So all we're doing is removing these two frames right here. And what this is gonna do, as you'll see, it's going to make the impact look a lot uh, harder. So it's making the impact look harder and it's actually removing the fact that my reaction was delayed. Now from here, with some footage you can get away with honestly just doing this, but as you can see his swing is a little bit slow. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to speed ramp my footage. Now to do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the video channel you're working with and you're gonna make it larger. Now you're gonna wanna pretty much make this as large as you can possibly make it because it just makes it a lot easier to work with. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice these little FX tabs in the corners of your footage. You're just gonna right click on them, go down to time remapping and hit speed. I'm gonna do this for both of these videos. So from here, I want to find the frame where he actually starts his swing. So right about here. And I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard and drop a point right on that frame. Now from here, what I want it to do is I want it to gradually speed up as he goes through his swing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now seeing I made that point, it's only affecting the frames after here, after the point that I made. So I'm gonna bring this speed up and make it about 125%. As you can see, it makes my video a little bit shorter because we're removing a frame because we're making it a little bit faster. But like I said too, as you can see, there's a, this big jump right here. I don't want it to do that. I want it to gradually get faster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this right here and pull it to the end of my video clip. As you can see, there's a nice ramp now throughout the video. Now, what I'm gonna do is essentially the same thing, but reverse. I want it to slow down by the time he gets to his end of his swing about right there. So I'm gonna add a P or hit P on my keyboard, add a point and I'm going to bring this up to 125%. As you can see again, it brings it up to the same level here, but then it drops off again. I don't want it to immediately slow down. So again, I'm just gonna drag this back and create a nice ramp. So as you can see, it ramps up to top speed and then ramps down and gets slower. So as you can see, that's what we have now. Now, essentially, this is all that I would do, but from here, I just add in some sound effects, say uh, swoosh sound effects for when he swings, an actual impact for when it's supposed to hit me, and maybe the sound of me falling on the ground or something. And the sound effects that I use in this video are from Triune Store, so I will leave a link to them right down in the description, so feel free to go check that out. But that's pretty much it for that, and that's how you do this effect. 
So I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Fantastic Eat Facts Fridays. Like I always say, if you have any ideas for this, feel free to drop them in the comments below because I need as much ideas as I possibly can. If you also enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and notification bell down below. But that's pretty much it for this one, and I will see you later.